Welcome, welcome, welcome to 239 Uncensored, everything Southwest Florida and beyond. And we got Dan Frigolet. Hey, Dan, what do you think about the studio? Holy shit, you just came in strong. Uh, I feel really <laughs> good about the studio. I like, we don't fuck around. So, man. do they? I mean, what can they see? Can they see the? Can they see the kill room? Like, do the, is that on camera? Do you have a camera in the kill room? No, no, not yet, not yet. <laughs> so Dan comes in first off. He fucking changes the whole studio give around. Me, yeah, give me a. Vibe it's great of, though. What do you think of me when I walk in somewhere? Is this I don't know? Well, first off, first off, Dan is a comedian and actor. Yeah. So I mean, we got the re- we got the real deal here. Yeah, Naples. I'm a triple threat. They call it. Yeah, yeah. He comes in, he fucks up the whole studio, yeah. but it's freaking awesome. It's I love like, it. Let's change. I love what you did, yeah. but let's change everything. Yeah, let's just just change it. No, I, I <laughs> no. The whole goal, right, in podcasts is like be relaxed, bullshit, talk, yeah. have a good time. I don't know. You don't know. And then I we don't got, know what. The and then we got a little, then we got a little video going. Yeah. So so tell me a little bit about. <laughs> He's bugging. Got to, tell me a little bit about how, why are you in Naples, Florida? That's what everybody wants to know because you guys are like protecting this place. You guys are like, no, no, yeah, no don't, no, yeah, come, don't here. come here. It's not fun. Especially you New Yorkers. Yeah. yeah. You're like, just don't come here. Are you New Jersey or New York? So I'm from upstate New York. Oh, so I'm getting blamed for everything because I'm from New you York should. and I live in New Jersey and it's all the things. So they're everything that I do. They're like, oh, it's, this is what's fun about Hoboken. This is where I live is that people that don't know anything about New York City know everything about hoboken for some reason i think they have that's cake. where fucking buddy buddy yeah, the cake fucking show. Cake show yeah, yeah. Cake show. yes and sinatra so i'll be in there. like oklahoma and they'll be like what is new york city like where is staten island like what is the bronx and they'll be like where do you live i'll be like hoboken they're like that's in fucking new jersey by the way can i swear i should have asked this already. yeah oh, at 239 on censor we're good <laughs> let it let um, rip. i'm down in florida because i got some family down here and i'm i'm the family guy i'm the reliable guy in my family and so i've always been i've always been close enough to my family to be able to go visit and get gigs and things like that i've never focused on florida because when you do like travel the way that i do with uh cars you get to florida and you're like there's no more things like you like you come to florida and then you got to (laughs) leave so like if i go across the country to like la from new york like i'm stopping a bunch of places then i just turn around and come back florida you get to the bottom and there's no more things down here and then you got to go back up there's so no there's so no not not much things whatever sentence that is there's so no things that you guys made a road that was north to south and then like you were just like fuck it let's go east to west for no reason yeah. that's how not much things there yeah, are here yeah yeah well and then you got you know you got 95 and you got 75 so you yes. got all you new yorkers come down 95 thank god they fucking live on that side right i'm just kidding no both <laughs> of those roads are jacked by the and way and then 75 goes chicago so we get the Chicago they people. Love it. Yeah, the Michigan people are like 75 ends <laughs> in Michigan. Yeah, that's funny that you end in Chicago. There's more <laughs> shit. You keep going, there's more shit. It goes all the way up to Michigan where it yeah, is. Yeah, it's like the end of the world. Everybody, that's the thing is everybody from Michigan is here. I keep meeting people from Michigan because they just got on that motherfucker and they drove it south. <laughs> And then once it went east to west, they were like, no, no, I'm not doing that. That doesn't make sense. I'm going to stop here in Naples. What, well, what we're trying to do, though, is like fucking say, pull off the exit in Tampa. You know, <laughs> fucking don't come down here. There is a lot. You, if you get off in Tampa, you like kind of get stuck. Like I tried to get off in Tampa to like take a lot dump, of massage parlors and, and like and like literally get, uh, go to the like, uh, uh, what's it called? The chiropractor. And then I and I got off at the I think it was the Sarasota airport area. And then I just couldn't get back on. I yeah. was just in. a th- I was like in Christmas party. Like I was. Yeah. Like, yeah. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah it's the, nuts. It's nuts. So Naples is fun. So for, for someone your age, I mean, you you like 52, 53? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I was, I was, <laughs> you're on, young. You're I'm 38. Young. I was on Tinder, but I, but I represent as like 32. So I was on Tinder looking for an inheritance. That's what I was doing. <laughs> I was like, they finally added the thing on Tinder that you need. So, so I don't know if you know this. How old are you? I'm 54. Married? Yeah. So, at one time, Tinder just had a thing. It would go up to 55, and then it just said 55 plus, and that was it. If you were older than 55, it was the same as if you were 100 to Tinder. Now, at least they've added the 100 thing. They go, if you're older than 100, you're not going to make it anyway. Betty White, you're not going to make it. You're not going to get to 100. It's fine. <laughs> so, no, I just I, I set my parameters, and every time I get to Naples, I set my parameters to 51 to 74. I'm trying to get in there. So how does it? So I've been out of the game, right, for you know yeah. for several years. Now, how do, you know is the Tinder thing pretty cool? Is it legit? I mean, Naples Tinder. I is think it, do you, are you four Myers too? Do you any like, of them? Are, so here's what here's what I dawn from it. You can actually understand who's in the town that you're in by getting on the dating apps. Because you get like a good uh, like sampling of the population. So like you just get on there and you just leave everything open. You go, OK, this is who lives here. Like these are the people. Um, so it is it's it's a useful tool. 
Uh, but no, I'm not really. I like, I like that. I'm not really you banging should. for for inheritance. But by the way, if you're listening and you want to give me something, I'll do. Yeah, that. and you're 38 yeah. years old. You got yeah. the world by the balls. I'll you got get in there. I mean, yeah. look at that. And yeah. you, you only fans? I'll sell you a dick pit. Let's go. Come on. 20 bucks. What else are we doing? Gas is up. Let's go. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. So, yeah. So you're down here in Naples. Yep. Did you get a chance to um, played, do any comedy? I played off the hook twice. Okay. Yeah. Um, sort of. I like came down. I didn't tell anybody. I just Brian said, Spino I, over there off the I hook. Just, the captain. I just, yeah, got the major, captain. I just got major eye surgery. And so I was I didn't really like tell anybody I was coming down. I was, okay. was going to go hide out by my folks and meet some people and do some things. And then I was there like three days and I was like, I'm going to murder my family. Like, this is like, yeah. you go to Thanksgiving. Like, this is why people, this is why Airbnb is in business. Cause they're like, oh, I'm just going to go get an Airbnb so I don't kill my entire family. I got to get out. So I was like, I have to do comedy because that's the only thing that like ma- stops you for me. I don't know what you have. Other people have other things, right? But like, the only thing for me that stops me from killing my, my media family is doing comedy because you go, okay, cool. Let's talk about what my dad said today. Let me ask you this though. Now, <laughs> When when people are around you, your buddies and your friends, or yeah. even people that just I don't believe just in that, met just met you, do they fucking expect you to like blow off a bunch of jokes all the I, time or what? Because you're a pretty funny guy. I just met you fairly quickly, but yeah, you'd be kind of like a, a lunatic. You'd be, yeah, you'd be kind of guy I'd like to hang out yeah, with. But there's an element of me that's like shit fucking going to get cups everywhere. You were like, I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit like. You have you to told advertise. Me to put all the yeah, cups. all this shit. You told yeah, me to all put the it cups. in the cups yeah. with the no, name They're on gifts. It. They're gifts. <laughs> these ones are expensive, though. I don't know. I'm not taking that home. Okay. <laughs> so Whatever you want, buddy. It's I'll yours. put this. I'll put these in my underwear so that when I go, so when <laughs> I go to a, a tattoo. Yeah. No. I want. Yeah. I'll put this. I'll put this on my penis so that when I sell a dick <laughs> pic later, they'll see it on my cock. Um. No, I don't. I forgot what you asked me. Uh, I like that you snuck the other business in there. Do people know that you have another business? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, like we're bit. Yeah. Buy, sell, rent. I, yeah. you know what? I need, I need a more. I need a mortgage broker. Is what I need. Let's, I, let's, I hook you right up. Set that up. Florida Pro Mortgage. We got it. Oh. I need. A, I need first time buyers. I need that. I need that five yeah. percent. No, it's good. That federal deal. You asked me, am I funny around other people? I uh, when I was twenty, I started comedy. I was like twenty. So so like that was when I'd be like at the club and there'd be people be like, "What are you doing?" I'd be like, "I'm a comedian." And they'd be like, "Tell me a joke." After twenty three, <laughs> I stopped like responding to that. Right, vibe. right, right. Like, there's there's no reason to respond to that vibe. Come to the show. That, oh, by the way, that's the other thing I have on my Tinder. Is like it's like come to the show. It's like if you think I'm funny, follow me on the Instagram. fucking show. Yes. You want to find out? Follow me on Instagram. You're oh, it's like you. You're always promoting something. Yeah. So you got to do it to be in it's real fun. estate, comedy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you meet somebody in the street. Like, by the way, here's my mortgage guy. Let's go. Yeah. You yeah. selling your house? Let's go. That's that's kind of what it is being a comedian. But you're not only but you're not only a comedian actor. You also promote. You do a lot of these uh, Hoboken, yeah. right? Hoboken. Hoboken. Yeah, you did your research. Man. Hobo- Hoboken. So, well, that's just a fun name to say. Hoboken. I'm fucking yeah. Hoboken. Yeah, Hoboken. No joke. <laughs> uh, I so I started the Hoboken Comedy Festival. Ran it for ten years. Um, ran up against the pandemic. It's too big of an event to plan and then hope that it goes okay, like in the middle of like a global pandemic. So I stopped yeah, running. I understand. It come the pandemic, which has been a godsend, because um, my stress levels way down. Yeah. Not, not having to yeah. run a fifteen event seven that, day that, deal. Yeah, that, yeah, it was like wow. eighty comedians. Wow. Um, Twenty five hundred people. And I got to give credit to Kim Curry. She's friends of yours. Yeah, and that's yeah, how yeah. We, she set me up. Yeah, she's yeah. awesome. I yeah. love her. Yeah. Do you have her come on? Does she? Yeah, we had her come on, but we, we were actually promoting a veterans thing. She yeah. does a lot for the community, and nice. she's she's awesome. And we're gonna actually get her on more because she's she's connected up. Nice. She's I good. like that this table's so close that like ooh, I can almost I can almost tickle you. Well, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of cool. Right there, but you like really, 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 <laughs> you, yeah, you're really we're keeping it all. We're needing me. Are yeah. you uncomfortable when I get this close to you? I, I like, well, well, your hand. Like oh, that. my knee is a little. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit fucked up. But we we can do it. We can set it up. Yeah. We get two tables. But you know, I kind of like it. Yeah, we should. Yeah, so for homophobic guests, you got to really put it long. You really try and change things up. Homophobic guests, you put it long ways. My favorite. That's, that's oh, how you geez. can do it. It's so, just so many tables. I really like this room, though. This room is, this guess, is a, a really good yeah. vibe. Yeah, I like really that. I vibe. like that. I can't see uh, the producer's vibe. Like I can't see if she's having fun or she hates me. Like that's because uh, the face is blocked off. That's D- like, Diane is the best. I can't there's tell nobody, from her feet whether nobody, she's into it. Nobody better than her. And you got to every. Oh, by the way, every two minutes you got to lift a cup. Of the yeah, 239? Yeah, yeah, two, 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 oh, nine. that's what this you know catheter is we for. That's why you catheterized me when I walked in here. So, yeah. So you got the. Other things you've been like on TV I got stuff you, going. You got yeah. you've been on TV. I mean, are you like? Do you really stay really busy, or are you like what you got going? I mean, is, yeah. I mean, when I when I, so the I'm, COVID thing really I'm thirty eight. You guys up my my 
mom, I got hit by a car at the end, of, like at the end of 2020, and then I had this you did thing. What? I got hit by a car. I, so I got run over by a lady. She just ran me. She, she didn't even stop the car. She was, Are you she okay? Could, or? Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, it hurts, but so I've been in PT for like uh, 18 months, okay. and then I and then I had this eye thing going. So I've been like, so like I'm at that age, and I'm sure you were here at one point where like you go, oh, I'm in my late 30s. I can't trust my body for shit. So I'm having like all of the weird like um like mortal vibe. like i'm like really i'm like in my head about like oh like i could die like when you're 25 you're yeah. like i can't die and yeah. you just like jump off yeah. a boat into like a like a um whatever whatever the analogy is i'm gonna have here but like uh or you or you're like tom brady and you're just like hawking uh uh the the, the trophy the, the yeah. yeah trophy They're like i trust my body right okay. i'm not there like i won't i can't even like walk on like a thing now like like in the parking lot i used to walk on the little the little yeah. sections yeah i can't yeah. even do that well the thing is we, you're right, though. When you get a little bit older, you're like, fuck, I, you know, it, yeah. it's that quick. I and can't then, even trust a fart. And people, that's where and I'm and at. And people you start knowing yeah. have, have died. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, fuck. I don't know. I and don't... then I always look in the obituary. How old? And yeah. if they're like anywhere near you, my age, yeah. you're like, like oh, damn, fuck, it's yeah. coming. Yeah. It's, got, it's well, coming. Yeah, I better I better stop eating Cheetos or whatever. <laughs> thing you should do. No, <laughs> it's so it, it. Yeah, it, it's an interest. It's interesting. Uh, it's an interesting period of time. And yeah, I don't I was going to say I don't have anybody who died. But then this week has been all all people dying. Um. No. So it's been a weird uh, mental chunk. So like all of the times when I'm like, let's go, let's go conquer the world. That's been like very I'm like, I'm just going to sit at home. Like, that's where yeah, I'm at. No, I'm, just, like, I'm just going to stay. Yeah. Uh, so the pandemic was a lot of that. It's fun being in Florida because like apparently um, COVID's not real. I found out when I got. No, here. fuck no. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's like, got here. It's in every other state but here. It's and we're doing we're and doing a when, great and job. Then when you like, and then when you like bring information, you're like, oh, what about what about? And they're like, oh, no, that's New Yorkers hanging out here. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? Well, it's funny because I was in New York over the holidays. Yeah, it fucks, it's your fault. Every, you brought it back. At, at every commercial is like they're scaring the dog shit out of everybody. Yes. Put your mask on and be responsible. <laughs> like, ah, yes, you know, it's like, oh, my things. God. Oh, my God. They're scaring everybody. Yeah, here, here you get like you get dirty looks. The sun gets rid of it. To wear a mask. Yeah, it's wild. Yeah, it's funny. When you try, when you wear a mask, you, you can't like, get arrested. Yeah, they're like, what is Just happening? the opposite, right? <laughs> what is happening? Why are you wearing a mask? I don't know. I'm standing two inches from the deli counter. I, I'm okay with a society where we all actually wear masks from now on. I don't even want to look at you. I don't want you to see my expression when you do something. I'm done with the grocery store. I'm happy being in shroud. That's a much better life, actually. Let me ask this a question. Have you ever like you being 38 yeah. on Tinder? Yeah. Have you ever looked at like the the hot chick with the mask and then had the experience where she you saw her without it and you're like, fuck. Oh no. So put it back on. I, I find it interesting. People get catfished <laughs> all the time. And I'm like so confused by that. Because like you got to do just like you did all the research on me. You got to do enough research before you meet a person on like what they're like, like what their vibe is like. You should have an, you should have gotten to an argument with them already before you met them for coffee. Like there's a lot that you can get off of the dating site. And the, the trick is you go to their worst picture and you go, that's what they look like. All these other and then ones, you get fucking really the reality like the worst picture. Yeah. But if you go to the worst picture and you expect that person to show up, you're good. If you expect the best picture to show up, that's not happening. Of course not. Okay, give me a rundown of how this. Just give me a rundown of how this. How works. does dating work? How does well, uh, fuck, I'm, online I'm, dating? How no, did you meet your wife? Tinder. How did you meet your wife? I, my my wife worked at the restaurant, and I used to go in every day. And I said, "Here's my card. Is give me a right? call." And then they yeah, you're a creep. That's like 15 years ago. I like all these stories. So I've been married a few times. This is that right? How many, <laughs> how many are you in? A few times. Which marriage are you on? Times. Number three? This six. You six. six times. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> how many times have you been married? Number three. Three, Number three. three marriages. She's awesome. Yeah, yeah she's three's awesome. The, yeah, three's where yeah, it's at. She's awesome. Um, wait, how long do you usually give a marriage? Uh, it depends. Yeah. It depends. I, I've been as long as 12 years yep. or 13 years, but I've been as long as 11 months. Is that right? You were like, fuck. Yeah, wait, like, what happened I get in 11 months? Out. I'm the what interview. Changed? I'm the interview. You get me fucking changing. Not no. anymore. So basically, you don't have kids. Do you I'm, know a, I'm a quadruple godfather. This, this, okay. as I know of thing, I know every person I've slept with, yeah. and I have, and I can call them and be like, "Hey, did I make a baby?" Like this, <laughs> this that you know of thing is disrespectful to men, and it, and it perpetuates the the male but stereotype kind of and the it makes and, it fun, and the patriarchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about. Like, I, I'm cliche. gonna start doing that to women. They go, "You know how many kids you know about?" To women that you know about. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I have kids. I'm a quadruple <laughs> godfather. I'm very good. I would have kids if I was ever in a stable, healthy relationship. I got you. I got you. So no, if, if, if basically if you if your person that you're married with yeah. doesn't really get along with your kid, then yeah. that's a problem. So that's that was over. it. That was it. Done. Yeah. That was it. I've been there. Yeah. Been so there. yeah, but it's been it's you know, it, 
it's been good. I, marriage good. So tell me how this works, Tinder. So you go on Super. Tinder, you I want swipe, your story. you swipe. This is your podcast. You swipe, so swipe, swipe, and I then do. I'm gonna I'm gonna reveal you, all the secrets. Please. Here we go. Come on. And let's not say it's. Just and we have Tinder. a good date for you, Adam. All I'm I'm down for that. All the so all the things. It's not even just. It's not just Coho. Tinder. It's all the things. It's uh, it's Hinge. It's whatever thing there is. They're all the same. This idea that there's like a difference between them is like a misnomer. Like Tinder's the same as Hinge, the same as Bumble. If you're a dirtbag and you're looking for dirtbag stuff, you're going to be on all of them and you're going to be trying to do that. You can meet somebody who you could date on on any of them. You just got to be upfront about what you're looking for. So for me, I just put it. What's fun is that like I'm from New York City, so I'm like used to just like it's, it's a proximity thing, right? You know that you can like de- you can decide how far you're willing to travel for sex with the apps, and that's fun. So like, in New York, you can keep it to three yeah, miles. No, you get three miles. Kinds yes, of- yeah, I put it down. I, I want it to be by like block. Like they have, like they have it one mile. It's like that's all of Manhattan. So I'll crank it down to it's one true, mile, and true. then I'm like walking around New York, be like I'll fucking find you on here. I'll just walking behind girls, just swiping. Where are are you on here or not? It's Dan. You don't even have to walk up to people. You just go. Oh, you're single. I just found out. Right. So, but then you come out here to Florida and you got to crank it to like four counties. You know what I mean? <laughs> but then that's stressful too, because you guys think each city is like a different, like people in Sarasota are like, I would never go to Tampa. And you're like, what are you talking about? It's a bridge away. Like, it's like North Myers won't go to like Fort Myers. It's crazy down. You're like, oh, I'm in Naples. I'm not going to Bonita. What are you talking about? So you swipe on everybody. Cause that's what you do. You just say yes to everybody. And then, cause pretending like guys have a choice is crazy. It's women's choice. Oh, all so, the way. Yeah. So yeah. like I can say yes to everybody uh, or I can like be selective and be like, oh, I'm in love with her. And then I'll send it and then I'll never hear. And then I'm just like in a bucket somewhere. Just sad. Instead, you say yes to everybody. Then you see what comes up and then you start conversations. OK, so then it rolls from there. You start a conversation yeah. and then you, and it, meet me. And then you get to your third marriage <laughs> and you're like, what have I done? <laughs> so meet me. Right. So yeah. now you go into this. You go into the bar, maybe by yourself. No, I don't drink, so I don't drink, so I won't go. Well, I mean, where, no, I don't where drink, would you so go? I won't, you go, go to the bar. I won't. I won't meet somebody for drinks because, like, that's like a whole other vibe that like people are doing, and they're like, let's just get drunk. So and, where do bang, you go? Like, like, could you like just I'll, I'll, how the fuck do you go to like McDonald's? No, you would never do that. Or I like Starbucks. The, how do you go to like Starbucks and then your... end up and and then you end up in the bedroom? How's well, that happen? I can't even. Well, I would. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking to to get a latte and then and then go straight to sex. Right. It's just like date. It's like anything else. You meet somebody. You see what's happening. And then, you know, as it progresses, wh- what I like to do. What's the fastest time, progression you've ever had? Well, I'm not in, I'm not into like uh, single serving sex. Like I won't. So I won't fuck the audience. I won't fuck somebody if I think I'm never going to fuck them again. OK, like, that's important to me. Just like I said, like I got, I got you're gonna get like a lot of girls that are gonna watch this and be like, I like that guy, Dan. For uh, maybe I mean, who know? I mean, no, you, you, you we got like, a big you, audience. You, is that right? Yeah. Do you get Thousands. do you get hit on by your people? No, hell no. Look at me, I'm 54 years old. I'm I, an old motherfucker. I think you got it. You got the stuff. No. I feel like let's get you. I was, I was, I was. You don't, you don't know my past. I was a, a law to. enforcement for 30 years. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, now Retired. I get, now yeah. I get total but, but we're having fun. From you. Yeah, we're having fun. Wait, where were you a cop? Uh, here. You were a cop here. New York City. No, here. No yeah, shit. Yeah, here. Thirty for thirty-one years. Yeah. Wow. Just retired April last. No last shit. Year. Yeah. So, yeah. Wait, so this yeah. is this whole thing is a new chapter. Yeah. So this like is a, it. We're having fun. You're on top of everything. And yeah. I've been in Naples for just about yeah for thirty-four years or no thirty-three shit. years. Yeah. Florida. What's the biggest change you've seen in Naples in the last ten? Yeah, a lot more younger people. Okay. And you're probably like, oh fuck. <laughs> you should have seen. Oh, I'm not even. I, but I'm not defi- even younger people. And there's only here are people like, look at this young. That's true. Snapper. That's true. Yeah, it's like, like, <laughs> I'm walking around New York and they're like, get this old guy with his old balls off de- the sidewalk. The, the traffic's always. I mean, it's always been congested during the season. Yeah. But you're seeing it really now in Naples is almost like there's no difference between, you know, the the winter months and the so summer. So you're blame, months. but they they blame the outsiders, but it's all Florida plates. So this well, yeah, because they have fucking a car down here parked in the garage. Yeah, they come to New York. <laughs> like, the, the, Florida's so funny because it's like it's the only state where they're like, oh no, we're that's not us. Like, no matter what happens, you guys are like, it's that's true. not it's us. True. It's true. Like it's like this, and that's and that's how this this last administration happened. You go, you go, hey, did you do this thing? That's not us, it's everybody else. Right. And this thing is like spreading like wildfire. It's like it's it's definitely not us. 
uh, which is fun. It's also why, like, when I drove down here, you got a guy sitting in the left lane going 60. So I'll New York him and I'll go around him. I'll cut him yeah. close. And then you can see him in the rear view. He's going, ah, you're going 60 in the left lane. It's you. It's not me. Get the fuck out of the lane. Exactly. exactly. Um, but no, this this vibe. And I, I, we're moving that way as a country with this whole like, it's not us. Um, and we should take some responsibility. Right. Like if you blow up the bathroom and you clog it and then you come out and you're like, hey, I don't know. It was like that when I got here. That's insane. It? You're insane. Just say you clogged it. Where's the goddamn plunger? Let's get back to that place as people. Yeah, I agree. And just you got to just fess up to it. Yeah. And it's, it's much easier that way. Yeah. Also, yeah. go. Look, also, go. Look, I blew up your bathroom. This thing has been every, in everybody. Years. I'm a, I'm talented. Look at that skill. Everybody's clogged one up. Yeah. By the way, I clogged your toilet. Yeah, you probably you what? probably did. You probably put like four gallons of toilet paper in it. Um, no, so we got what that. A, what a fifty-four-year-old man! Uh, that's that was my my father's first move. The first time I clogged, he's like, "You don't use that much paper. You can't use that much." Every, can use like you know. Every, that's why they got sheets. I mean, they actually every, count the sheets when you go to Sam's Club. Every old man thinks that everybody uses too you, much yeah, toilet you, paper. This is your mark of like yeah, I'm almost yeah. old. Is that you're blaming how many slices? Do you I realize use? there's like nine hundred sixty fucking sheets on a roll of toilet paper? <laughs> I mean, seriously, that's the oldest man shit you've ever said, and I'm and I'm so happy that you've done. Oh it. no, shit. But I, but I fucking waste money like it's going out of style. But um, but look at this beautiful studio. Yeah. Now you're even a smart guy. I that but you it's not Syracuse to my benefit. University, which I guess there's probably some, you know. I went to Newhouse actually. It's it's. Uh, oh, well, it's, I, yeah. I thought you went up in that up in that area. Yeah, Syracuse, no, no, right? I went, yeah. no, Syracuse University. It's uh, uh, so Newhouse is the journalism school in Syracuse. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. like, you. I got gotcha. you. It's us and us and uh, and Northwestern, Medill. Those were the two. We're the, we're the top two. And now there's no journalism, so I picked correctly. Yeah, it's just gone. It really <laughs> people love, people their own journalists. Gave it up. Yeah, yeah. So when you were at Syracuse, you probably had good basketball team, and back then you had a good Carmelo. football team too, right? Carmelo. Yeah, Carmelo. So I got there yeah. right when um, uh, uh, Donovan McNabb left. Yeah, like he was he was leaving 2001. That was the year I got mm -hmm. in. Uh, so that was the best. Uh, football team we ever had it was unbelievable yeah and uh and then was we had Dick mcpherson the coach back then coach McPherson? no you remember him yes so i never cared about the football team much and then uh, yeah. and then like for the next four years we were trash so i was always a, a basketball guy i was always a bayheim guy and we had carmelo and then we had that whole team before the problem was we had a team that should have done something and should have won and then we added carmelo to it and then that just became an unbeatable team uh, and we won, but then they just gave all the credit to yeah. Carmelo. But yeah. there's a vibe. We've been watching Syracuse basketball since we've been here. There's a vibe. There's an anxiety with Jim Beheim, where in the fourth quarter, if we're up, we come back into the game like, let's not fuck this up. Instead of like, we're winning, <laughs> let's just play it. Roll it. Playing it. Yeah. And we fuck it up every time. It's out of control. It happens a lot. It's weird. I'm not a big sports guy. Wait, what do I do for sports here? I have to go up to Tampa to see pick a ball. Things? Pick a ball. This is a, so, this is a pick a ball so got, capital so got, of the world. So you got football. Football, Tampa. lots of football. Yeah. So football, Miami. If you're in Naples, it's great because you yeah. got Miami over here. Right. And you got Tampa. Yeah. So, and I'm a big Brady fan, being from New England, sure, right? Sure. So I, I'm, At you know, point, I'm pulling if for you're Brady. You're not a Brady fan. You're just out of your mind, just or like hate, really angry. Hater, you're yeah. just angry. Yeah. You're just like fucking using too much toilet paper. Like you're that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you have to but the thing, Brady. But, but you can, I mean, yeah, because even Brady, like that, he's a classy. Yeah, dude, man. Yeah, he, he's good. I mean, even the other day when Antonio Brown fucking ran off the field, they get Brady sit down. And he goes, you what know, was his reaction. It was basically like, hey, let's get this guy some help. He's obviously got some sure. fucking yeah. anger management situation. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I like no, that. It's good. Yeah. So, yeah. But so you acting career, you were you were I, doing so some acting. The problem with comedy or anything, as you know, is you have to put all your you put all your eggs in the basket. So it's like. They were actually hitting me up for a long time to be like, hey, you should be on Boardwalk Empire. And I was like, I don't really know what that is. I don't I'm not like interested, whatever. It was like at the beginning. And then uh, so I was just like focusing on comedy and like because it's like when you go to do the acting thing, you have to put so much time into that deal that it's like you really can't like comedy hours are so crazy anyway. Yeah. Right? Like like you have to start heading towards comedy at like five and like p.m. And then you're done at like 2 a.m. So like you don't have any other things that you can do. A total timeout question just yeah. throw you off. How in the hell do you do three shows a night in comedy? You got to be fucking tired well, at the end. No, the three shows a night is like the only that, thing that energizes. Is you. that Actually, easy for you? The hardest part of three shows a night is finding a place that has 
three shows or two shows and even. then you can get booked on yeah no if you can do three shows at a comedy club on a weekend it's like the greatest thing oh is it but it's just like uh like a place like this with you know where you'd have like a headliner so like i was just hanging out with trevino steve trevino the other weekend mm -hmm. he was at off the hook he's uh he's fantastic they got some really good they got some really good he's guys fantastic. that come in here and, I, yeah. and they all laugh about it's in a shopping plaza love, but there's some good shit and you'd love steve trevino because he's like he's just a he's just a good dude um, and he does 80 minutes, right? So then that's so, a long so time. You got the, so you got the first show, you know, and so you got the whoever's going to open is going to do 20. Uh, if there's anybody else that stops by, like I stopped by and they had me host. So I did 15. Their guy did 20. Then he did 80. So 80. it's like there's not even enough time in the night to do three shows right. in that at that level. But when you're in New York and you're doing 15 minute spots or 20 minute spots, then you can do it. But one of the things I figured out on one of the tours was that, um, we're like running around all day from 12 to five. We're not doing shit. We should like find another thing. So we started doing retirement communities. So we would do three Damn, retirement good. communities in the middle of the afternoon. Then we'd go do two shows at the comedy club. And that was, that's a fantastic life. All you care about as a comedian is like getting your ideas out. Yeah. Like saying your stuff, yeah. but isn't it very tiring? No, it's, it's the opposite. It's like, like, you know, you know, More like drilling. a lot of, uh, I don't, you know, a lot of downtown, it fucks you up. Then, basically. well, no, you, like a lot of comedians do uh, end up, or at some point, did cocaine and heroin. Let's just say that, and uh, it's because I finally figured it out. It's like comedy is heroin. So when you're not on stage, you're like, how do I get this comedy high? And it, you have to do heroin. That's the only other choice. So give us more shows so we do less heroin. That's what it's, I'm saying. This this could be a a you know a, a program that's out there <laughs> yeah. more comedy oh this is yeah, yeah this is wait yeah this is na you just yeah, yeah. just go do, yeah, comedy. do comedy like you know what's better than heroin comedy uh but yeah i don't think it's gonna work okay let me let me ask you this because i heard you're pretty good at this you got a fucking heckler in your in your in oh, your crowd yeah yeah I, i'm i mean tell me how that works because you know you're always gonna get i i tried it once and i was fucking you done comedy no fuck i tried being a Fucking, oh, you tried yelling out and being I, a dick? Yeah, I was. Well, well not really. I just, I just, I just, I just said something stupid, and I, that fucking guy buried I me. I tried heckler. being a heckler. It's not a profession. <laughs> don't do that. Um, no. So what happened? I don't know. So you're saying people have said I'm good at it. I well, think I'm good. So, at so it. I think it was Artie Lang or somebody. Yeah. One of one of the things said, you know, this guy's pretty good. Do not heckle him. Yeah, I'm good at it. I think I'm good at it. Uh, well, so it all started from I was running a show be and quick. I was I was I'm smart and I and I you got to like also figure out what the thing is they're trying to do so like you got to pick which thing you are it's like wrestling has made me understand comedy a little bit more you got to pick like what thing you are so like I'll, I saw a guy um at off the hook actually this is a good example and he was really nice to the people that were yelling out and he was like he like pretended like he was dumb and like he didn't understand and that like so like he didn't let the thing land on him Right. which was cool because this whole act is like nice guy thing and like oh hey like uh, it's good to have you thanks whatever oh maybe you're funnier than me like that's the act which which works so then when the heckler came at him or was just yelling random crap they were just a drunk person yelling yeah trying usually, to ruin the show and they're just yelling random crap out i think that might have been when i tried and he was like he just like he just kept dodging it i don't do that i go i go oh there's something wrong let's talk about it let's deal with it like let's 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 find out what's going on i really like what they do in in like south africa which is like when somebody yells out they're like oh they like treat him like he's like a um like a sad boy who like brought his own jokes to the comedy club they're like oh you brought your own jokes oh it's so cute uh you don't have to do that no i don't know i think there's nobody should be trying to come to a place where things good things are happening and trying to make it about them, which is what the heckling thing is. Yeah. They're like, oh, no, it's my night. It's not your night. You brought a date here. You fucked up. The comedian's going to get all the much. attention. Yeah, but that's the thing. <laughs> like, people like want to bring like dates to the comedy club. It's the worst place to go, especially if it's a new date. The person on stage is going to get all the attention. And it's, point. and it's like an 80, 20 male to female. Not that that's good. It's just what it is. So then if you're a guy, bring a girl to the comedy club. Your girl's going to like the comedian more than she likes you probably. Yeah. And that's not good for you. Don't bring her there. But fuck that. No, buy all the tickets. Come to all the comedy. Well, shows. you told me you don't bang the. the, the uh, I'm not into it. I just I think it's I think it's unfair. Um, but a lot of people get it. Dudes get into things so that they can have sex. So like a lot of comedians started doing comedy because that's what got them girls. Um, but yeah, but like banging the audience isn't the best version of of anything. On the last night. No, because again, it's like. 
it like you can romanticize it, and I, and for you, I'll, I'll I'll you can vicariously. Yes, I I have sex with the entire audience at the end of every show. But the reality no, it's is, it's not. Like, I just no, but it, but the reality is, it's very it's very empty, and it's very um, it's not. It's just no it's structure. Shallow. There's no feeling. There's no structure to yeah, it. Yeah, just... I like. I want some. I want every person I fuck to be obsessed with me. That's and that's and that's so like that actually makes me that's a worse a person. Thing. No, they, but they, but they, no, but they, they to but, be like psychotically obsessed with me. And um, that's not really what you're going to get from the audience. You know, I want somebody to like, you know, like abandon their whole family to have sex with me. Do you know what I mean? Like, not like just totally. <laughs> yeah. Not just because you're up there for the night. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So what is it? What is like a set when you boardwalk empire? What's that? What's that day? Because we're kind of talking about that. What's yeah. that day look like? So that's what I mean. So like <laughs> when you when you're doing acting that because it's a they're 13 hour days. Actors wow. work so hard. Yeah. Um, they're in there for 13 hours. And it's like, you know, you're like, OK, you're only on screen for like an hour. But like the waiting and the anticipating and the being in makeup and doing all that other, and the, like the hanging out, all that stuff is like taxing. And then you like watch as, the only thing I have that that's a better example or a good example is like as a comedian, when you're waiting to go on an open mic and you're just watching everybody and you're like doubting yourself. And you're like, God damn it. Everybody's so good. I really going to hate me. And then like on Boardwalk Empire, we had that with like two of the main characters. There's a guy, Vinny. Uh, I can't remember what their characters names are anymore. But then there were and then there's Nookie, who is uh, uh, Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi so good. Right. And I would watch the other actors who were the main actors watch him and like freaking out because like, God damn, Steve Buscemi yeah. so fucking good. Uh, so that whole experience was great to watch and be a part of. But I was I like I wasn't really anything. I was like when you're not uh, like a valuable part of the cast and you're like not on the show, you're just sort of like you're like furniture. Like it doesn't really matter. Do they let you in and eat the good food or are you no, fucking no, like you bring funny. your own fucking sandwich? So there's three levels. So there's three levels. <laughs> Tell me of, how that works. There's three levels of hierarchy. So there's so there's like there's like main cast hierarchy. Then there is union. Then there is non-union, and I'm gotcha. non-union, so I was just like they were like they would just like throw you know like in uh, uh like uh, uh Beauty and the Beast or not Beauty and the Beast uh, a Lady and the Tramp they just like throw a bucket on the ground like that's what that was what our food was it was just like fish heads and like gills and stuff no they fed us really well even in the non-union part but I was on shows where where like I was on uh, uh, Kevin Bacon the following and fuck that guy because I don't know I don't know why that sh that production was so was so cunty but um they uh they literally like we were in a, we were like in holding in a church. So we're supposed to wait around, whatever, like to do the scene. And we're there for seven hours and there's no water and there's no food. Like we had to like make our own like peanut butter jelly sandwiches, which like you're like, OK, poor you. You're going to be on the phone. No, like there's guns there. around, but hanging like, around. But like you could shoot. There's not, there's not, too just soon. Gonna, too just, soon. <laughs> just, Kevin Bacon. No, I'm taking <laughs> the, the, the last shooting with uh, what's his name? The Alec, Baldwin? Alec Baldwin. Oh, my God. They, John Marco Seracy has the best Alec Baldwin joke uh, about the shooting. You have to look it up. I'm not going to do it for you. Um, wait, hold on. So, so, so we're in the thing. And we're in the church. And it's like, yeah, you're like, oh, poor you, whatever. But like you're there and you can't go anywhere for 12 hours. So like if like, they can't provide water, they can't provide food. You're like. You become this like snobby, shitty person because you're like, where's the like gourmet sandwiches? It's like they like they bought they literally bought bread and a jar of Jeff and a jar of jelly and they have one knife and they're like, just figure it out. And <laughs> it's like I'm wasting my entire day. So a lot of times when you're acting and you if you're not like Long a main day. part, it feels like you're just wasting good comedy time. And Boardwalk Empire, they had so much money that like sometimes the shoots would go 15, 17 hours because they didn't get the shot and they don't care. They have money. So like you're just going to wait and you're like, great, I'm getting paid. But also. I had a show that I'm canceling. Yeah. So then at one point you go, what's more important to me? So you, you're like, comedy's more important. Let's do that. Let's focus on that. Yeah. Uh, but it's but it's fun. It's fun to have my mom call me and be like, I just saw you. Uh, I just saw a prostitute sitting on your lap on Boardwalk Empire. Was that you? Like, that's fun. <laughs> that's me. That's me. <laughs> that's me, mom. You know that's me. <clears throat> Probably people ask you this too. Like, who's your favorite comedian? And do you have any like God, people that you like every day that you kind of like really really like or it you changes kinda... every day and then i had this weird had this weird epiphany recently where like i realized every person that i like um valued and and loved as a kid is like a terrible person like i was like michael jackson <laughs> Pee Wee herman like bill cosby like they're all monsters like what does that say about me or what does that say about the function that this thing is? I was really excited that Louis C.K. put out a special. Yeah. Um, but he's in a weird he's in a weird predicament because all the things that he was like against is there. All those people are like in his audience now because the people that are like that are like, oh, it doesn't matter. Are the people that he that he like doesn't want to be doing comedy for. Right. So all the people that are like, oh, it doesn't matter that he like whipped his dick out. Good for him. Like now they're in his audience. So it's a weird it's a weird point in his career to see what he's going to do with that, like change in vibe. But Sebastian Maniscalco is crushing it. 
Um, yeah, he's Nate, got Naples ties. His, his he? family, yeah, right? his family's here. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you got Nate Bargatze, he's a friend of mine, really funny dude, a uh, really clean guy. He was just, uh, they just featured him like Good Morning America, one of those, one of those morning shows that I've never made it up for. Um, but no, it, cha- it changes a lot and it changes often because so many people are so good and working hard. We're, we're like, we're on a period of time where everybody's working hard and there's like a clear, we had a period of time in comedy in my career where there was no clear leader. Right. So like the priors, the Cosby's, all those conversations, the Carlin's, all those guys, when when that's happening, all the other comedians are like, OK, now I have something to aspire to. And how do I get better and become that? And then there was like a period of time where we're like, we don't know who's the best. We're like, is it Chris Rock? Is it Seinfeld? Who's the guy? And then we kind of decided as a community. I don't know if this has reached uh, the rest of the world, but like we kind of decided it's Chappelle. And so regardless of what you think of what's been happening and the controversy and all the things, we're looking at Chappelle and we're going, that's the best. How do I get better? Or can I even do that? And can I aspire to that? So having like a Jordan or a LeBron in the league is important to the the, the skill of comedy to make people work harder, which is so it's a fun period of time where everybody's just, yeah, just position harder. possibly yeah. achieved. There was like a 40 year window where like where like nobody even had an idea who the best was. And that's weird. Like you need a guy True. who can like dunk from the free throw line. So that you go, oh, that's possible. Let's do that, yeah, yeah. right? Um, so now, now is a good period of time for that. But yeah, I don't. I, I was like, I like, I liked Pee Wee Herman. Like, what does that say about me? Like, I'm a weird. Like, it's a weird thing. Interesting, <laughs> interesting. But no, so COVID, right? So that's really had a huge impact on you guys. But I, but my buddy um, Justin McKenney does yeah. a great job. He's doing. He's done. You know shows but he says it's really different because you look out in the audience and there's maybe only 20 people but he's yeah. doing it on video but he's also doing for corporate yeah corporate video yeah. on zoom and things like that which that's got to be difficult i did like 400 zoom shows did you really yeah, yeah. i was doing four shows every friday um in different time zones i was doing uh, greenwich mean time time zone so that was so that would that would line up with uh england and south africa which i have a little bit of following in south africa and then we do an eastern show uh central show and then either uh, a mountain or uh pacific show and we just go bang 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 bang, bang. i wrote crazy. my own show and um and it was different it wasn't it wasn't just like stand in front of zoom and pretend like you're just gonna do a set it was like work your jokes into a conversation like you would do if you went on like tonight show or whatever right and um and it was yeah it was a great show and we would do an hour every um every friday for each of the time zones it was great and we had veterans we had like uh i think we did a show i think i did the math i think we we entertained in total like thirty thousand veterans or whatever over the course of the thing yeah it was great so we hit every market and we even had um we even had like and i didn't know how i didn't know whether or not there was like a pool of like british troops that like had like a thing like we have here but I was able to find a group that was like giving tickets to troops in England. And that was great too. So it was, uh, the whole thing was fun, but then attention spans are crazy low and they're getting worse and everybody was waiting for COVID to stop. So the second that something opened, then all the zoom show attendance would go down and then it's like, then there's a new variant and then the attendance would go back up and you're just like playing with this thing. So it's a weird period of, um, creativity. Yeah. It's a weird period of change. And every, I mean, every field you were even you were telling me that, like, even the field, even the real estate thing has changed the way oh, yeah. the way people the, do business now <clears throat> across the board. Has yeah, changed. I got a beautiful office here and yeah. we have 40 agents. We got Tampa here and they've never and they, seen they, they don't come in they've because, it, it. yeah, it's like, hey, I can do everything out of my house, which yeah. which that was kind of rolling that way anyway. But they know it's here yeah. and they can use it and. And it works out, but That's what I did, I we, built we a just studio. Gotta change things. I built a studio in my apartment. That was what yeah. I did. I, and I became, and then like I started like uh, setting up stuff behind. So then I became a plant guy because I was like, oh, the plants look so good in the background. Yeah, and I've become a more evolved person. Yeah, no, that's process. great. That's great. Now, one, you know, a few more things here. I, I, it seems like, and based on what I can tell, is you're an animal lover. I, yeah, I have a dog. She's what kind she's, of dog? She's half Dalmatian, half pit bull. I know that's a ba- those are bad words in Naples. Yeah, we, I think people think that uh, I've said it once on online that they lock their jaws and I had like 40 people. Not real. No, they don't yeah, lock their jaws. Yeah. I'm like, here's, listen, here, I just, I was I'll, just, here's what I'll say about pit bulls. And this is what I'll say about any dog is like, you, do you have a friend that you can call uh, when something happens and you're like, like, listen, and you call your buddy and you're like, something happened. We got to go get this guy and we got to go, we got to go yeah. like handle shit. Yeah, now that's what your dog should be. Your dog should be your ride or die. You should be like, Hey, see this dude over here. He's coming at us. Kill him. And who, who better 
to have at your side than like a pit bull or like a German shepherd or whatever. Like if you have like a, you know, like a, um, like a rat terrier, Shih Tzu, they're, <laughs> they're just going to run the other way. You're like, hey, can you kill this guy for me? And like you're you're like uh, a Maltese will be like, I don't understand what this is. And I'm like triggered now. But your pit will be like, I got you, bro. I was going to kill him anyway. So that's that's the upside of a pit bull. But no, they're the most loving creatures. They're the most ride or die. And that's what it's for. But no, my dog is half Dalmatian, half pit bull. She's never killed anybody. She literally couldn't. She like we had a mouse in our apartment once and she like looked at the mouse. She looked at me. She's like, are you going to fucking handle this? Yeah. Plot? Now. Yeah. You know, let's it. go. I don't well, and I, and I had to like, kill him. You're a pit bull. Let's go. And she's like, you got me fucked up, man. I'm, I'm here for cuddles. I had, I had a bulldog and, you know, it kind of looks a little bit. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I'll, yeah, I'll send, yeah, yeah, send yeah, all yeah. the pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send all the pictures. Yeah. On the so, so I'll, I'll, how are they getting a hold of? I will send a free dick pic and, <laughs> free, and free, free pictures dick. of my dog. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we we're gonna be on Facebook, so we got yeah. you. Now we'll we'll, we'll, we'll definitely Facebook do. Facebook is not sex worker friendly, we'll by the way. By the yeah. way, by the way, I have a podcast. We haven't talked about it. It's called the uh, yeah. Sexy People Podcast. It used to be called Porn Stars Are People. Um, what's it? What's it called now? It's uh, sexy people podcast. Sexy so, people so it's, podcast. Uh, we're interviewing like we're interview sex workers and we talk about the thing and we and we've and we've evolved a long way along the route because in the same way sex work has gone on the internet and it's gone to like um like like at home and it's weird it's like the 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 market used to be like if you were like good at parties and like sociable and like an extrovert you were good in the porn business now it's like if you're just good at home and you can figure out algorithms and you're like a like a uh, like a hermit you're the greatest at being a sex worker so it's interesting how things have changed that's pretty wild yeah we we my co-host um shannon, co -host? yeah shannon livingston she's oh. awesome she's got a podcast called uh, son of a bitch which yeah. we produce and she's on with her son and yeah. she's been involved in the sex is that industry right? for a long time yeah no shit. so son of a bitch there's podcast a lot of people down here in this area and i i just heard recently that there's like a very vibrant uh swingers scene in fort myers have you heard is this, is this a thing you know about no i don't <laughs> give me a little bit of information on i it. don't know i was just told like yes in fort myers yeah there's like a swinger scene in fort myers i don't know how to access it my album my first album is called naked and amused i did a, yeah i was I gonna ask a, you about that how i does, did a what sex, is that i did a nudist colony party and it was like a, and it was like a sex swingers event afterwards so i was like really excited to be in that in that scene I was trying to like link all the things together, like the porn podcast, the sex work thing, all of that stuff in like one place so that it made sense of like, oh, Dan's the guy uh, to like have at the nude party. So, Dan, so Dan does all these things, these reference sex. Yeah. But when you go on Tinder, you won't, you know, hang out with the chick afterwards. No, <laughs> I mean, come on. I like that. You can't wrap your head around this. You're like, I don't understand. You're like at a nude party, but you don't fuck strangers. I don't understand. No, um, I, I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm just saying like. You know, no, I, I think I'm getting no, half the story. No, no, let's not. Let's not. Uh, I'm a slut. Okay, let's not like. Let's not like remove that part. I'm definitely a hoe, but uh, I, I'm a. I'm a. I'm an ethical <laughs> slut, uh, as they say. I, I think yeah, you got. Yeah. You're gonna have like a huge following after this. Maybe. I, mean, I want to find Dan, but because he like cares about me. Yeah, and he wants to know. He'll sell you a dick pic. My, my, my feelings. Yeah, sit around talk about like a, a humans. Yes, humans. and, and even talk about we do comedy. It's like we do comedy yeah. to like connect on the human level of like hey we're all sharing this thing yeah we're all sharing this crazy experience that is life so let's talk a little bit about we got a, a couple minutes left let's talk a little bit about where you're going what you got going yeah, um are you know. gonna be are you gonna be doing anything down here are you gonna know. stick when around in florida? florida when you get to florida you're just like you know what snowbird seems fun let's do that yeah so i've been here um you i gotta just, come back I you just, come no, back i just here. pushed back my my i was gonna leave last week and then there was like a snowstorm in virginia and i was like i'm not doing that yeah it was a bad and thing. i was gonna drive back and i was like and then there was like another one i'm like i'm not leaving so now i'm here definitely through february okay um i'm trying to sort it out i want to do well so it was honestly a bad period of time to produce my own shit was was november december because it, it was holidays but if you're listening you want me to play your backyard that's my favorite show we uh, rent a hundred chairs, set up a stage in your backyard. We'll do like there's like people have land here, uh, and we'll you know we'll do a show. Hopefully there's no alligators. We'll do a show in your backyard. <laughs> you got New Yorkers just get all your friends out. What you saying? You saying Floridians are not afraid? They of, don't care about of alligators. alligators. Like, Bring them on. New Yorkers in my community, like if they see a little gator, yeah, they're like we, we they put pictures of it and they put it on the Is community. 
uh, the community website. We got to get rid of this. No, it's it's supposed to be here. Yeah. Well, th- my favorite thing about Florida is everything grows here. Everything oh, grows here. Everything too. lives here. Like everything is here. Like yeah. uh, like there are like, bad snakes, bad spiders. And there's so many things. And then the more I talk to people in Florida, the more I realize like like other things have happened. You've had all these like unsanctioned zoos, and then like somebody will like. Um, give up on the zoo and then they'll just open the gates and so now like animals that never lived here just live in yeah, the everglades they just go they're yeah. just like hang and they're yeah. chilling i saw one the other day like uh somebody saw a mink and mink was like carrying a, uh, a snake and it was on the uh, um alligator alley oh yeah and then and then the conservationists were like where is this mink we haven't seen a mink in like 27 years like can you help us find this mink so there's just shit in in Florida that like shouldn't be here, and there's like everything grows and everything. So I like it here. I, I think I want to figure out setting up a, the second half of my time in life here, especially because like my folks are here, and I've always been the reliable son to like be nearby. No, it's great. What's going on? Yeah, great. So I want to I want to be able to be here. So if you got a guest room, and you can trade me for dick pics for the rent, I would no, let's do that. <laughs> That's good. Hey, I just want to thank you for coming in. It was oh, kind of a quick notice, and, and and I know you can probably get back here again before you leave, at least. For yeah, sure. if you want to have me back, I'm happy to do that. Good time. I'm here definitely for another month. And like I said, I would love to do a show here uh, on not connected to the comedy clubs. Love, love what's going on there. Those are booked out for like whatever. Let's do a fucking weird show in your yeah. basement. Let's do actually not basements. Let's do a weird show in your backyard. And let's uh, let's invite some alligators and let's make it happen. And, and we'll invite like a hundred veterans. We'll have a fucking great time. Let's do it. Let's you do fuck it. you. Let's do it here. No, we'll do it here. Wait, <laughs> good. That's good. All right. That's great. Great having you on. Two three nine uncensored. Everything Southwest Florida and beyond. And we are. We always go out, out, and hit it. Boom. Boom. Bam.